Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have some brand new updates for our Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Specifically, we have three new updates that I want to actually talk about. Let's dive in and go over each one, one by one, and see exactly what's new. Now, the very first update is going to be for the Samsung Galaxy S20. I did not check the other phones yet, but you can check your phone. But basically, this is just a regular software update. So if you go into your software updates, just tap on download and install. It's just going to install that. But if I tap on mine, that's my last update. Now, this one is 386 megabytes. As you can see, it was updated today, July 27th, 917 AM. And basically, it adds a bunch of device stability improvements, uh, new or enhanced features, and some further improvements to performance. This is just a usual update that's just going to make your smartphone even better. So as of now, I was able to confirm that this update is on all Samsung Galaxy S20 smartphones. But you can check your other smartphones as well. Now on top of this update, we have two other updates that apply to all Samsung smartphones. So let's talk about those. Now the first one of those actually is applied to the gallery application. So when I launch my gallery application, what happens is if there's any video, it's going to preview the video in the actual uh, window as you can see. So it, there's two videos here. So it first previewed this one, then it went ahead and previewed this one. So it actually loops around. So it's previewing this one first. Okay, and then it moves over to the next one, previews that a little bit, and then comes back to this one. But again, as I scroll down, if there's any video files uh, that come right up, they get previewed. Previously, they were static photos of the actual video. Now you get live previews of the video in your gallery application. And this applies also to, if I were to go to my albums, it would do the same thing uh, in any particular album, okay? Now, real quick to download this update, just to make sure you get it, simply click the link down below. It's gonna take you to my website, and I want you guys to scroll down a little bit and simply click on the link under the download. So when you click on this, it takes you to the gallery store and make sure you click the update button here. Now mine is already updated, so you're not gonna see the button, but here's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and all you do is you tap on the update button uh, to update your Samsung Gallery using that link, okay? So that's update number two. Update number three has to do with your voice recorder in case you have it installed. So that's this one right over here, voice recorder. Okay, that's the application by Samsung. So again, if you go to my website right over here, scroll down just a little bit, and you click on the second link for the voice recorder, it's gonna take you to the, to the store, and then you're gonna see the update button or the install button if you don't have it. But here's what's new. Basically, what you can do now with this wonderful uh, voice recorder software is you can use a Bluetooth microphone which was previously disabled. So that's enhanced functionality for this application that could be useful for some people, okay? So those are three updates. The first one is the regular software update. Then you got the gallery update, and then you get the voice recorder update. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.